generative AI can help transform the way teams and people work. And this includes app development. This year at Google I.O., one of the most exciting announcements with StudioBot, the AI-powered coding assistant built into Android Studio. I wanted to chat with Jamal Eason to learn more about it. Can you start telling me a little bit more about the idea behind StudioBot? Yeah, you know, we've been thinking about AI and ML for some time, but really, you know, up until late last year, we had a great model developed in partnership with Google Research and ourselves focused on app development. And so we first thought about focusing on code completion. We decided to pivot to a conversational bot so that developers have control of the conversation. And with that was the birth of StudioBot. Well, I was eager to test it out, and I've used it several times since launch. I think this is a great step in the right direction for Android development. However, it still feels a bit experimental. Can you tell me more about where StudioBot is heading? Thank you for trying it out. It's definitely an experiment, and we want open feedback about this progress. Our main focus in our future direction is about quality and responses. We know that you want to be able to trust response and be able to be more productive when using StudioBot. Adding real-time information is important to a large image model, so we actually added the Android documentation as a supplement resource to StudioBot responses, which leads to higher fidelity and responses. How is StudioBot really any different from the other things like ChatGPT? Good question. So as you know, Android Studio is an IDE, so we have the full context of your coding experience while you're developing. So instead of relying on an external window or some sort of external context of an LLM, we can answer responses in the context of your source code. So if you have questions about your API calls or some errors, we have that sort of context while building your app. So I saw you just opened StudioBot in over 170 countries. Yes, the main feedback we heard from developers is that it was only in the US. So now it's international, so more developers can participate in the preview. And you said you have some news for us? Yes, today we're releasing code completion. So what's different about the code completion that's available today, instead of doing one-line code completions, you can do multi-line code completions, you can get suggestions on how to do comments for your code, or how to add documentation to your code. All these things are making more productive and developing and coding with Android. That sounds like it would be really helpful. And it's great to hear that StudioBot is going to do a much better job at answering my questions. But for the elephant in the room, do I need to share my code with StudioBot? So by default, Studio does not share your source code. We only have the conversational history that's shared between you and the bot. Going forward with the conversational agent expanding to code completion, we're now adding a custom way for you to opt in to what's shared with StudioBot, specifically adding a new .ai file. What are you most excited about with respect to how generative AI can help app development? I think the big thing for AI development is making sure developers can spend time on the things that are most needed for the development of apps. So think about the creation part, the architecture part, less about the boilerplate part. So freeing up your time from those cycles, you can make more productive and more amazing apps for devices in the ecosystem. Awesome. It was really great chatting with you, Jamal.